Um, I think, like many people, when I read this motion, I had mixed feelings about it. Um, I feel that the conclusion is right. I feel that we must recognize Palestine as a state. But I think many people would agree with they, that the language felt wrong. There were elements that didn't sit right. It didn't feel like it truly recognized the, the poisonous legacy of the Balfour Declaration and the dispossession of the Palestinians. I have spent nearly 10 years working in the humanitarian sector. The last four years of that, that have been in the Middle East. And in that time, I have become familiar with the, the impact that this continues to have on Palestinians. Uh, the UN Refugee Works Agency, the humanitarian agency which provides assistance to Palestinians, is the longest running humanitarian operation in the world. And it continues to cost hundreds of millions of dollars a year to provide basic services for Palestinians who are still classified as refugees even many generations on. In Jordan, where I worked on the Syria crisis, Palestinians have been given citizenship, but they are still poorer and they still have less access to services than, um, than people who are originally Jordanian. In Syria, the situation is worse. 95% of Palestinians in Syria are dependent on humanitarian assistance. Many of them lack any form of ID, making them stateless, meaning that they are trapped in Syria and unable to escape to access humanitarian assistance in Jordan and the other countries which are receiving refugees. And this is not the unintended byproduct of Balfour. This is something that is inherent to the Balfour Declaration. If you create a homeland for one group of people without thinking about what's going to happen to the people who are already living there, this is something that happens inevitably. Balfour was a cynical deal to prevent the French getting access to Palestine, and this is the inevitable consequence of it. Having said that, this is where we are. The Israelis are there now. They also have nowhere to go. So I don't, the two-state solution is the only way out. I don't believe that this goes far enough. I believe that we should also be apologizing for our role in creating the State of Israel without a plan for the Palestinians. But it is a step in the right direction. <laughs> Recognizing Palestine is the right thing to do symbolically. It shows the Palestinians that we support their rights and we support their cause. And it's the right thing to do practically in that it gives people access to a state. It gives them access to a nationality and it ends that scourge of statelessness. We should support the motion and we should recognize the state of Palestine. Thank you very much.